Hi, this is Matt Hug with Nonprofit.Courses, bringing you a special presentation from Great Careers Bang, the Business Executive Network Group. And today, you know, we're going to address a question that a lot of people have, which is how do you move from the business sector into the nonprofit sector? Or if you're in the nonprofit sector, how do you move your career ahead so that you get the job you love? Well, we have a special guest today, Mark McCurdy. Mark McCurdy is the nonprofit career coach. And Mark has a presentation for us and then some great Q&A after. So let's get started. I am pleased to have today for our um, educational uh, and viewing a pleasure, <laughs> Mark McCurdy, who is the uh, the nonprofit career coach. And Mark, thank you very much for uh, um, for being with us today. And uh, Mark, why don't we just start out, rather than me trying to give some lengthy bio, uh, why don't you just tell us a little bit about, about yourself and then we can jump right in. Excellent, excellent. Well, uh, thank you, um, Matt and Lynn and certainly great careers uh, for having me in. Um, and I guess just a, a, a little um, vantage point just to say, you know, you know, imagine yourself falling asleep, um, energized from your day, you wake up excited and grateful um, for your job. Um, you actually really connect with your colleagues at work. You know your work has an impact on the community uh, that you care deeply about. Um, and the icing on the cake is you feel valued and receive a paycheck with a purpose. Uh, so hello, my name is Mark McCurdy. Uh, I help professionals build a career system to transition uh, into or switch sectors uh, in the nonprofit and social impact space. I've helped over uh, 4,000 professionals uh, uncover their careers for purpose. Um, so that's my, my sites join joint forces uh, with the nonprofit career coach or careers for purpose. Um, really, everything gets you uh, to, to me. And that's me. I, I love, you know, connecting people with nonprofits. Uh, for those of you who didn't hear, um, I had nonprofits change my life before the age of one through uh, being adopted, through getting having a, I was born with two club feet, so having a life transformative uh, operation with uh, Boston Children's Hospital here, um, and then having both my parents, uh, one um, run her own uh, as executive director for a small uh, adoption agency, and, and my father working uh, in the arts, uh, arts arena. So, um, and my first dream job was actually uh, with uh, an organization maybe many of you saw last month, um, well, very similar to, uh, but it was the impetus for, I, I worked for an organization called um, Professionals for Nonprofits uh, in New York City uh, back in 1999. So at the time, they're really the only, um, they're the, really, the, they, they were the first staffing company only for nonprofits. Uh, so they've expanded. And um, I worked with Nurse Harrigan, who now runs um, careers uh, in nonprofits. Uh, so I believe that's uh, one of her um, employees was here last month talking to you all. Um, and uh, so that's where I really, you know, talk about kind of cutting my teeth, you know, uh, so to speak in the, in the nonprofit world. Um, and that was certainly a, a dream job for me. Um, but it was 2009, I actually started my own uh, staffing company. Um, well, end of 2008, 2009, but uh, as we all know, that was not the great the the, the greatest time to start a staffing uh, company, particularly uh, in the nonprofit space. But but that really led me to this passion around um, you know uh, teaching and training and so forth. And uh, so in 2009 2010, I wrote a book actually called Strategic Volunteering: uh, 50 Ingredients to Transform Your Life and Career. Um, and so, you know, kind of with, with that knowledge and, and experience, I put together just a, a small little presentation to share with you all, uh, which is, uh, you know, right, these, these kind of four building blocks, if you will, or four tips for building a career in the nonprofit space. Um, and and uh, Mark, I'll say that uh, you'll have a, uh, a content expert page on nonprofit.courses, and that'll have a link to the book. So uh, we definitely uh, want people to be able to take advantage of that uh, if they're interested in, in, in that, because that's a lot of great information 
uh, I'm sure you have there to, to offer people. Indeed, indeed. Thank you, Matt. Um, and so this is a shorty, pretty short presentation. Um, I really left a, a significant amount of time for some Q&A at the end. Um, and so with that, I'll get my sharing privileges going here. Um, let's move this a little bit. All right, can everyone see that screen okay? A little, little thumbs up, yeah? Yep, we're good. Okay, fantastic. Um, so again, four tips to build your purpose-driven career. Um, I think what's also kind of unique uh, from my vantage point is um, I've not only recruited in, in nonprofits, um, I've, I've also worked in, in kind of the cross between uh, for-profit and nonprofit, which is what I call this kind of social impact space. Um, and I currently do, do some work with uh, a, a national nonprofit um, called Prescalis as well. And, and, and myself have, you know, previous to that worked in, in nonprofits as well. So uh, I, I bring a nice um, kind of holistic approach to it all. Um, and so I won't be able to see those uh, chats coming in quite yet, but uh, Matt, if, Matt or Lynn, yep. if you see anything uh, real important, by all means, feel free to, to pop that out. But again, plenty of time at the end for some, for some Q and A. Um, so you know, all of this for me is uh, kind of about creating your own road. Um, you know, not all careers, right, are, are created equal. Not all journeys are, are equal as well. Um, so I, I like this little visual. Um, and again, you, you uh, heard a little bit about me already, but but here's some some pictures. You can see me here on the upper uh, upper left hand corner. Um, that's with my brace, as I talked about um, having club feet. So that was uh, post graduation. Um, this is my mom here in the, in the middle. This is my, my sister. Um, uh, we had a, a foster brother down here on the lower left, uh, Michael. Um, you can see uh, I was leading a play. So you can see I always love to get out there in front of the audience. Uh, and then uh, you can see this, this picture kind of in the middle here with the uh, tortoise skin uh, glasses. You can see I always liked a little bit of style. So uh, and, and those glasses are, are, are back in style now, by the way. So um, but uh, also you could just see, again, few, few of the you know, more national nonprofits that I've uh, interacted with and, and helped place uh, talent in. So I've worked with large, you know, many of these you, you, you probably know about, and certainly smaller nonprofits as well. So uh, just, just a little background on that. Um, again, you know, pretty much what we're looking at, we, I just really kind of covered who, who I am, uh, but we're really most, most of today will be diving into these tips uh, and then really Q&A for you all. So. Um, so just real quick, um, two, two little stories. Um, uh, first one here is a woman named, uh, Dorit. She's pr now president of, uh, change finance. And I mean, really kind of the takeaway, right? I'm happier than I've ever been in years. I love my job for the first time. I'm passionate about what I do. So that's, that's really important to me when we'll hear more about kind of passion and in, in my view on, on how that kind of, uh, plays out. And many of you in your intro have, have talked about that too. Um, and, uh, and then last year we have a, a, a Bernice, she's now a director at Family Table, uh, where I might add, she started volunteering. Um, and again, kind of, as she talks here about um, helping help this is me, you know, help guide me through a thoughtful process that helped me clarify my goals and talents. Um, so again, for me, kind of putting that system together that really led her to uh, the type of organization that, that um, you know, would be really natural fit for her. Uh, and she'd be excited to, you know, have a thriving career there, which she certainly has. So, um, so what we're going to be kind of digging into is what I call my social impact system. Um, and uh, it's, it's very much like a like a chair right so if a chair with four legs so sure some stools could have could have three legs but if if you normally think of a chair with four legs and you kind of kick out any one of the the legs right it'll, it'll kind of fall over so the you know this is very kind of stackable and they they very much work in tandem together uh to to hold this up but um you know on the lower uh, left quadrant here, we have we have passion, right? And so I think passion can be a little bit um, a, a, of an interesting word when we talk about it uh, in, in the workplace. But I guess the way I like to think about it is really, you know, what are those skills and talents that you 
really get excited about um, and that it, it's almost like your superpowers um, that you have at work. Um, and so for some I've, I've heard on there was, you know, could be maybe the sales and marketing side for some it's the numbers for others. It's other things for me, you know, I, I definitely love this, this training piece. So to, to be able to do, you know, trainings uh, on a every, you know, weekly basis for me, that's, that's special. And, and I really love that. And I would say that's, that's one of my, one of my passions. Um, and so when I think about, so moving to the next quadrant here on the lower um, right hand corner here, um, purpose. And so when I think of purpose, it's more of, you know, what is that community um, that, again, you're, you're very interested in, very excited about, and, and you feel like, hey, I'd love to be part of that in some way, shape or form. Um, now, I, I will say, obviously, having doing this for, for quite some time, you know, there can be a scenario where, again, there's maybe not just one clear population uh, that's like, oh, I, like, this is it. That, that's the only population I want to I want to work with. But but there could be, you know, a few um, and and even, you know, like take take a staffing company for nonprofits. Um, they're covering usually a, a large spectrum of, of different types of nonprofits. And so there are roles like that, you know, that, that are more consultant nature where you're, again, you're really focused on mission driven organizations um, in a particular fashion, again, whether that's sales, um, staffing, um, finances, and, and so on and so forth. So I, th there, there can be those scenarios uh, in there as you know, in there as well. But once you've kind of identified, right, the, these skills and talents you want to bring to the table, once you've really thoughtfully th um, uh, focused on and, and spent some time with, you know, what is that community um, that you're really excited about? It's this idea of, you know, taking action, right, and kind of getting out there and, and giving some of your talents, um, in which we, uh, I know one of our, our guests here today has already uh, talked about that, you know, kind of putting, putting forth maybe a, a grant to an organization, you know, as, through, through, through school. Um, but there, there are other avenues that, that one can look at, you know, to strategically volunteer. But, but the idea here is, you know, if you can really, you know, get into that environment and learn more about the culture, um, ultimately that can really help you decide, yeah, this is, this is the type of organization, type of culture, type of community that I really do want to kind of double down on to, you know, focus my career. Uh, and that's, you know, leading us to the, the top quadrant here, which is focus and, and then being clear on, you know, what are those um, types of organizations uh, that you really want to want to work for. And so what focus then does is um, helps you build your story around your skills, uh, you know, what community um, you, you really get excited about and want to give back to. Um, that all becomes clear. And for, for this type of space, um, it's e it can be more effective um, because your network now has a clear idea of where you want to go. Not just, I'm looking for a, a job in nonprofits, but, oh, I'm, re I'm, I'm really excited about, you know, helping out this type of population or, and again, in some, some facets, it, it can be, you know, speaking more to the skills, um, as we heard a few of saying, hey, I have these finance skills. Um, I'm really excited to do that for a mission-driven organization. You know, that's definitely a, a really positive step in, in the right direction, but but still could get a little bit lost when it really comes down to, um, you know, sitting in front of a, an organization saying, you know, why should we choose you, you know, rather than someone else who maybe has some finance or finance skills, very similar uh, as an example. Um, but if you can really say, Hey, I've, I've been engaged in this community. I've given back, I've volunteered, um, or I've, I've done some, something within that community to really answer, well, why is this, you know, community really important to you? Um, and so with that, um, you know, kind of two, two other little stories, um, that I thought were, were interesting um, in, in a different way. And this was more about um, creating, you know, a nonprofit um, rather than um, going after one. So this first one is a woman named um, Gwen Strain. And, you know, she herself, you know, was, was homeless and living on the streets. And ultimately, she herself then um, made an organization, Families in Need, 
a program, which is, you know, the way I think about it is kind of turning your mess into success, right? And so where sometimes areas of struggle for us as humans, we can use that because um, we've been there um, and, and turn that into, you know, um, whether it's an organization or, or even maybe finding an organization. So that's just, you know, one, one, one example of that. Another woman of Nina uh, Dudnick, um, and she was, uh, she came, came out of Harvard, um, and she had this idea, you know, when she was, uh, through her school, uh, working in, uh, in Africa and, and noticing, um, that geez, they, they just didn't have a lot of the, the kind of core necessities to, to do lab work, but knowing that she had been in the States and, and hadn't having recently been there, she knew that, Hey, a lot of these beakers and, and, um, you know, equipment in the lab, you know, really get thrown out or recycled. And so her idea was really, uh, coming up with seeding labs. And so, um, this organization now is, is thriving. Um, and it really, what it does is takes, you know, lab equipment, um, usually from the States and, and brings them to developing countries, uh, is, is what, what they do. So this idea of, um, you know, turning problems into purpose um, is another kind of vantage point to look at. Um, and, and which that is another powerful one, you know, as far as kind of, you know, some of us here, as far as our, our pitches talked about, you know, some of the skills we have, um, and, and a few kind of touched on um, actually problems that they like to solve, right? So for me, I like solving career problems, career issues, challenges, um, and for some of you, it's, it's other things, right? So, uh, that, that's also another interesting lens to, to think about, uh, as you continue on your, on your job and, and hopefully be interviewing with some organizations. But if you can really say, Oh, I love, these are the problems I love solving. Um, and that these are the ones that, that are in, in front of them, um, that did you be, you know, against whether it's daily or, or weekly or whatever that is, that that's another kind of, you know, powerful, um, uh, pow powerful message to bring uh, to the table as well. So, um, so I I've I've talked about this, but just to kind of put it in these terms, you know, tip one, um, you know, what are your skills, talents you enjoy greatly? Uh, let's call these your superpowers. So, giving your superpower helps um, fill your passion, you know, for for that work. It helps fuel. That's that's what that should say. Fuel your passion for that work. Um, Tip two, really choose that community or population um, and so that we know, you know, where is it you want to focus these super superpowers on? Um, three, you know, taking action and give your superpowers um, so to that community population through conceivably strategic volunteering. Um, and, and it can be, right, even um, like a careers in nonprofits or even a staffing company that's focused in, in nonprofits, you know, that's a variation of that, but to say, Hey, I'm, I'm taking on a project, even though it's paid, but Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm gaining some experience in this community and really figuring out, Hey, is this the culture I really want to be in? Um, and then last but not least, you know, make sure your network knows exactly, you know, what you're looking for, you know, fine tuning your outreach, networking, job search, uh, in the right place for better outcomes. So focus accelerates your purpose. Um, is kind of tying it all together in these in these four tips. Um, and I will say, right, you know, even part of um, your cover letter, or in, in what I call, I've kind of coined the term a cause letter, you know, is, is really talking about, hey, why this mission really speaks to you, not just what skills do you have to bring to the table, but, you know, why this mission really speaks to you, and why you'd be excited to bring your, you know, skills, talents, and abilities, you know, to, to that environment. So, um, one last kind of piece, just how this can can work when you know when you're focusing your network. Um, here's a woman by the name of Colby Berger. Um, she joined an organization called Silver Lining Mentoring and and really helped it thrive. Right. So 2009, she she started as uh, direct, executive director, and she's more than kind of quadrupled that that impact of that organization. Um, but what it was is she was working, you know, previous to that with a nonprofit called Home for Little Wanderers. And it was her network uh, because her network knew that she was, um, you know, already working with uh, adoptive families and, and, um, and foster children. 
And so when this opportunity of exec director came up in, at Silverline Mentoring, her network pointed toward pointed her to this opportunity because they knew foster care and, and, and adoption was one that was very important to her. They knew that this was the community she, she was really excited about. So her network, again, brought her this opportunity um, instead of her finding it, right? So, so that's kind of this power of your network working for you, you know, once it's more focused. Uh, and again, just a little bit uh, of strategic volunteering I had, had to throw in here, um, which is there is a significant ROI to it, right? Which is to say, you know, helping you to, to um, increase your network, you know, in the space uh, can, it can help, you know, develop your leadership, you know, obviously use that civic engagement in peace, uh, your, your uh, sharing skills, and, and you may be learning some new ones, um, self-gratification. And so when you bring all this together, uh, you know, there's certainly been a fair amount of studies that say, you know, kind of giving and, and volunteering um, can really help improve your, your health of mind and body. Um, so uh, just bringing that all into, uh, you know, all together. Um, so just a few social impact system quotes. Um, many of these people you've heard about before, but this kind of passion idea, right? People rarely succeed unless they have fun in what they are doing. Um, purpose uh, it is, is literally true that you can succeed best and quickest by helping others to succeed. Um, strategic volunteering, um, our rewards will always be an exact proportion to our service uh, by Earl Nightingale. And then focus, Fix your course on one star and you can navigate any storm. Um, so this is this kind of component of, of almost that GPS scenario, right? Of, of to say, you know, uh, any road will get you somewhere, right? But if you're really kind of fixed on where you want to go, um, then it'll be, you'll have less kind of sidetracks and, and, uh, and, and, you know, through stormy times, um, like a COVID times, even one might say uh, that you can still be, you know, come out at the end with, with some major impact. So passion, purpose, volunteering, and, and focus are not just extras uh, in life, but are actually organizing principles uh, for strategic successful action. So uh, with that, uh, I will stop my share here and uh, oh, 